Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly Kretzel and today I'm going to give you some of my favorite exercises for strengthening body for pole dance and this is targeted for a beginner. You can make the exercises harder if you're a more advanced pole dancer but this video is for beginners. We're going to be working all around the body but we're going to have our major focuses here, here, back and on the arms. So hopefully you will enjoy and you will become a stronger and better pole dancer. For exercise number one, we're going to go into a floor based cupid. This meaning that you're going to take one foot very close to the pole. Be careful if you have an X-lock, it might unlock itself. Lift up your leg horizontally. Place it on the pole. Really use your heel to kick into your butt. From here, this will make sure that you stay. Now you want to tuck forward, so crunch your butt cheek together and go forward, pushing this forward from here. We're just going to go down to the side and back up again. If you want to advance it, you can try to go a little bit lower, come up, or you can straighten out your arms, come up, or you can even place a weight in your arms, totally up to you. Make sure that you're not just standing and doing this, but you keep attention here, locking your knee, pushing forward. So this is kind of locked and it's only this part being used to gain strength in your side muscles. So exercise number two is going to be working from the half braided grip. I explained this already in a prior video. However, if you didn't see that one, I'm just going to explain it again. So half braided grip is one arm up, the other one down. You want this one to be diagonally with the pole, so you want to have knuckles on one side, elbow on the other side, you use this arm to push the pole away. So when you're here, I'm just going to show it from the side, you have a pulling arm and a pushing arm, which will create friction. Pull and push. When I'm pulling with this arm, I'm really pulling down from my lats, so if you notice here, it's my lats working. And this is also what we want to target in the first part of this exercise. So pulling from your lats all the time. To me, this one was really tricky and I had a hard time learning it and I kept just sliding down. So if you feel that way, it's totally fine and just start with progression number one. So the first part of the exercise is just being here. Make sure to go on your toes before you start. And from here, I'm just going to pull down until you get to your tippy toes, come back down again and back down again and do that to each side. If that's working, you can lift up so your feet will fly away from the floor. So you can go here. If that's working, you can come fly away, lift up, and back down again. When we do that one, we're also going to target the muscle that's going to bend our leg, which is very important in the long run. If that's working, try to come up and fly, bend, stretch, Bend down, and if you're totally awesome and can do it all, straight legs up and down. And then it will go a little bit more into your abs as well. It's time for exercise number three, and I call this the pull to pole. It's for sure not the right term, but I'm gonna call it that because I don't know what it's called. And I'm sure I don't have enough space in here to do it so you can see it all, but I hope you get the idea. First of all, I'm going to be laying flat on my stomach. My, the top of my feet is going to be touching the floor. So I'm here. Now you can see, you cannot see my feet. And from here, I do like this with my hands on each side of the pole, creating a small um, space where I can put my head like this. So I'm going to be here. I will pull myself into the pole while keeping, keeping my legs straight. So from here, I'm going to pull in. As soon as I'm here, I will tense up my legs, crunch in and go as close to the pole as I can and come back down again. And don't you worry if you don't get far. And this is what you do. This is perfect for now. If you feel better, you can always pull up your legs, but make sure not to jump, only pulling is going to be much healthier and much better for your body. So if you're more advanced, just come in, pull up, Spread your legs, do a small twerk, lift up your legs, 
and come back in again. And down. Make sure you do it controlled at all times and you'll be fine. So, for a four, four, I cannot count anymore. Four. Exercise, and this will be the last one for today. I actually dressed wrong. I'm really fucking up today. Um, because we need our stomach skin, I'm gonna show it anyway, and I think, I hope you will understand. So, I want you to place your butt on the pole, so only one butt cheek, so don't be placing it in between, one butt cheek on. From here, you want to lean backward, placing the pole in the squeezy part, and this will be much easier if all of your skin here is free of fabric. From here, place your elbow in, and hands together. You want to squeeze your elbows together like you're showing up your boobies and keep your hands down and tight. From here, and the exercise is just crunches, lifting up and lifting down. So now you've got all four exercises. And before you start working in the condition, I want you to try all of them to make sure that you're sure about the technique. And remember, you should do all exercises to both sides. What I want you to do is that you're going to do each exercise for 20 seconds, then you're going to have a 10 second break, and you're going to continue that for three rounds. So in total you will do each exercise for one minute to each side. This is going to be very hard conditioning wise if you're not in that good shape, but this is a very easy way to build up a little bit of stamina and get strength and work up your technique in the same time. So for me, this is like the perfect way to, after the warm up, be working on a little bit of everything and then you can do like all of the fun, cool new tricks after. So enjoy the conditioning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!